now that we have the analogy behind the least ordering square method the way how we get a best fitting line the way how we get the residue let's look into the back end part of it now that we know the front end let's look into the back end part of it how exactly it works for this we have a cost function that cost function helps us to get the best fitting line let's look that by an example the hypothesis that we have is this again this is y is also fx of a okay, sorry fx cost function what it helps us is the different values for weights or the coefficient the different values of the coefficient of lines gives a different line of regression so we need to calculate the best value for a naught and a1 to find the best fit line so to calculate that we use our cost function so for each and every point we will be having different sort of lines and for that we will be having a constant value of a naught and a1 we need the value of a naught and a1 at a way that the answer of this should be quite equal to y so whatever we have over here is y dash and y dash should be equal to y y dash is the predicted value and this is the real value they should be quite nearby now how can we say that those are quite nearby that is where the cost function helps us the different values for the weights or the coefficient of line gives a different line of regression so cost function optimizes the regression coefficient or the weights and these are also known as weights a0 and a1 are also known as a1 uh, weights again one more thing to note over here is that in some places or in some other notes you might see that a0 and a1 written actually as theta that is theta0 and theta1 x and fx might be written as hx both are completely same only the notation has been changed each and every writer follows up a different sort of notation moving back to cost function we can use the cost function to find the accuracy of a mapping function which maps the input variable to the output variable this is also known as the hypothesis function for this we follow up the mean square error so over here what we have is this is the mean square error this is also one of the ways by which we can find out how good our linear regression model is but as of now let's evaluate everything with an example looking back to our years of experience with our salary example so we are successfully able to predict out a bunch of straight line a best fitting line a simple best fitting line and for y we have y dash okay so for y let's say we have 11000 for 22,000, we are able to predict uh, 20,000, and for 25, we are able to predict at least 25,000. Now, if we compare both of these using MSC, so MSC is if we look into the formula is y dash minus y x, y1 x i plus a naught. So that's for the straight line. Whatever value we are going to get after putting it out in the MSC value. So it should be let's say we get somewhere between 1.54 now in the next iteration what our main objective will be that the cost function that is cost okay that is the y dash minus y square let's take it as a square we get 1.54 we need to reduce that 1.54 to as low as possible for all of these by setting up a0 and a1 only these two are fixed if you look into the equation only this one and this one is fixed so whenever we want to predict for a new value a0 and a1 value would be fixed and for x let's say we want to predict it for six years so if the a0 value is 0.5 and a1 value might be 10,000 or 10,000 so the y dash value that we will be getting will be 60,000 plus 0.5 60,000 
this is the y dash value that we will be getting for six years of experience now that is what we do using our cost function now this cost function is applied on each and every row for that we don't have to do it manually luckily we have an algorithm for that which is known as gradient descent so in our next video we are going to uh, discuss about gradient descent but before just ending this video let's have a quick recap of cost function and what exactly it does when working with your linear regression model our main goal is to find the best fit line that means the error between the predicted value and the actual value should be minimized the best fit line will have the least error the different values for weights or the coefficient of lines the coefficient again a0 and a1 gives a different line of regression so we need to calculate the best values for a0 and a1 to find the best fit line so to calculate this we use the cost function the different values for weights or the coefficient of line gives different line of regression and the cost function used to estimate the value of the coefficient for the best fit line so what does cost function does is it helps us get the value of a0 and a1 which will actually help us get the straight line cost function also optimizes the regression coefficient it measures how the linear regression model is performing we can use the cost function to find out the accuracy of mapping function which the maps the input variable to the output variable for linear regression we use msc so this is one of the most common cost function that we use you can use different kinds of cost function but as of now let's move on to the most famous one that is the msc cost function which is the average square error between the predicted values and the actual values that's it for cost function this cost function is a very iterative process and we have to do it for each and every row of the data set so for that we have the algorithm gradient decision so let's jump into that